Welcome to a new episode of Ausfahr TV in English. I'm still the same guy, so it's still the same bad English. I'm sorry for that, you have to deal with it anyway, because I'm presenting you today the all new Smart 4 II. Well, let me think. Um, we are in Berlin today. I was born in Berlin, I love Berlin. And I kind of think that Smart chose Berlin because they wanted to convince me that the Smart 4.2 is a nice car now. Because it's a known fact that I don't like the Smart 4.2, well at least the first two product generations. Actually I had a good friend and he had to buy one and I was just making fun of him 24-7. Anyhow, just a little bit of history. In 1995, Smart presented its first car, the Smart 4.2, and three years later you were able to buy it. In 2007, they introduced the second generation of the Smart, which was 20 centimeters longer. They wanted to give the passengers a little bit more space inside. Well, it was a nice guess, it was a nice idea. But unfortunately, um, the first generation was fitting in parking space sideways. So, well, at least in Europe, parking space is very limited and it was always neat when you had, you know, a, a shorter car and you could park right behind it. With the second generation, you couldn't do that anymore because the, the tail or the front was sticking out. Well, and uh, let me calculate, we have 2014 now, so the old model or the second generation is seven years old, that's a normal product cycle. So, two days ago, here in Berlin, Smart was presenting the all new Smart 4.2 and here it is. It looks kind of the same, but I think very different. Especially the front looks much more wider and you're right, it is wider. Uh, the Smart 4.2 gained 10 centimeters in white. Width. 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 Well, I said, I did not like the old Smart 4.2, but many other people did. 1.5 million and a little bit more were sold from the old versions. And uh, you might know there's a convertible as well as an electric version and those, those two models are still sold as the old model. While the new model comes with three gasoline engines starting at 62 horsepower and ending at 90 horsepower. And now look at my head, what's that? Well, it is a smart driver driving his car. And with a new model, with a new third generation, it's all over. You cannot recognize a smart driver anymore with a nodding head because we have a new transmission, actually two. We have a five-speed manual shift uh, transmission and an automatic transmission, a DSG, which they called a DCT, and it has six gears. So this baby right here is a edition one just for early adapters. If you're early enough, you can profit from certain options that are just available for this car. And as you can see, a white body and a lava orange tritium cell. This is just one of eight different color combinations you can order. But, you know, for two still means just two seats. And when I hop right here, I can show you that it did not only present the new Smart 4.2, but also the all new second generation of the Smart 4.4 with four seats. So the Smart 4.4 and the Smart 4.2 are pretty much alike, except the Smart 4.4 has four doors and four seats. Well, and it's easier to fill up the trunk. And the Smart 4.4 com comes in nine different color combinations. And this yellow to black you're seeing right here is the only color combination that is just available for the Smart 4.4, not for the Smart 4.2. But before I get to the Smart 4.4, I want to show you the inside from the Smart 4.2. So follow me inside. 
such a cute little car and look at this giant wings oh well okay doors but still they look like wings they're huge they're really huge and thinking about the Smart 4.2 being a city car you know you don't go on the Autobahn with a Smart 4.2 well you can but I wouldn't do it so um, for city cars those are really huge doors and if you get in small parking spaces you might have problems but on the other hand they have to find a compromise because you want to get inside the car easy even if you are not very skinny you know I like to eat so um, uh, let me just hop in and you come around and follow me around I give you a little walk through the car entering the car is really easy because you sit a little bit higher than in regular cars first impression I have enough space well I'm not really sure if I can um, take off my sunglasses I'm trying but this orange is really freaking in my eyes still I like it I'm a big fan of orange so it's still a smart well yes we gained 10 centimeters so we have a little bit more space in here but it's still not a spacious car even um, tall people can drive in here easily at least with the old version it was this way well it's completely redone there's a new design inside but it's still the same design language um, that I didn't like before but I'm kind of you know maybe it's the orange I don't know I don't mind it's it's kind of cute you know how they made this little swing here and this whole infotainment system well it's the radio is standing outside um, well yes let me see I have two mirrors and a rear mirror in here and I can actually see a lot and if I turn my head look over my shoulder well I still have this big big thing in the back but it's not that bad at all right in front of me is a speedometer goes to 160 kilometers per hour and um, I can read it easily and if I turn on the radio ooh, this display is uh, pretty easy and well not much more to say well let me see oh I have a, um, my he a seat is heated just one um, unit but still I can heat my seat and I'm missing uh, the key control you know with the old generation you used to plug in your key right in the middle this is now here well you know it's grown up like a normal car the key is just at the steering wheel steering wheel itself feels kind of neat it's coated with leather uh, perforated leather right here where you have your hands and a lot of buttons that I have no idea what they're good for I think this is cruise control and okay I don't know um, still I think I could start liking the interior for some reason maybe it's because we're in Berlin I don't know we have in the door panels enough space for I think even 1.5 liter bottles I'm assuming just I just have a small bottle right here and we have two cup holders in the middle and look at this a stick a manual transmission I'm kind of excited that's what I like actually I like uh, automatic transmission much more than uh, manual but for the smart I'm just happy they're offering it now that's that's cool no more nodding well what else do we have oh we have a secret secret little compartment right here that slides out a little bit I don't know what would fit in here maybe a wallet well not much but still there's a compartment we have a gloves compartment and there's hardly any space in here and I guess that's about it of course we have sun shades and a little makeup mirror at least for the driver side yes there's none on the passenger seat and I have a well for the smart for two at least panoramic sunroof and I can you know close it if the sun is getting too bad and here is actually a place where I could at least in theory could place my shades 
I wonder how many people rip this off while they're trying to find the grip. And um, that's it. We have power steered windows. Um, we can probably... Oh yeah. Well, it's still the same. You can just, you know, lower and uh, upper the steering wheel. There's no way to get the steering wheel closer to you. I think it's enough for a first impression. What, what do you think? I mean, just let me know in the comments. I'm really curious because I'm, I'm starting to like the new interior why I hated the old one. So is it just me, you know? Am I too much in this casting right now or does it really look nicer? Well, let's see. Uh, we don't have much more here, so uh, let's have a look at the trunk. Well, from the back, I think, I personally think the Smart is not looking so much different from the old version. I would rather think it looks like the old version on steroids, you know? It's just bigger. And of course, yeah, we have new um, rear lights. And unlike you might think, they are not full LED backlights. We are not there yet. So, opening the trunk is pretty much the same like the old model. You have. Um, an easy entry if you just have a you know a light bag that you want to lift in and if you have more stuff you open the whole trunk uh, with the thing and it's still the same and I like it it's neat you can sit on here and just relax because you can put up to 100 kilos on the thing and yes I am allowed to sit here shut up yes the Smart 42 is still a tiny car a big tiny car at least and still you have 260 liters that you can fill in the trunk where there's space for 260 liters but you can only load 245 kilograms of weight inside the car it is still the same principle if you flip the backrest of the passenger seat you have a little bit more uh, space for your luggage here i am now at the smart 4.4 and um, I bet a whole bunch of people will crash their uh, rear camera because they think it's a button for the trunk. But the trunk button is right here. And as you can see, a different concept for opening the trunk. Well, surprisingly, the trunk in the Smart 4.4 is smaller than the trunk in the Smart 4.2. This one has um, room for 255 liters of luggage, but then again, uh, you can load up to 425 kilograms in the Smart 4.4, which are 180 kilograms more than in the Smart 4.2. If you look to the Smart 4.4 from the side, you see slightly differences to the Smart 4.2. Well, the Smart 4.2 has just two doors. I'm not kidding, you know? No, but the design of the doors is quite different. We, here we have the door handles very low, while at the Smart 4.2 they're up here. And uh, this little design element is lowered at the Smart 4.2 as well. Anyhow, here we have the two, uh, the four doors at the Smart 404, and I would really like to jump on the back seat and show you how much space I have there and what's going on in there, because really the um, front part is the same. It's pretty much the same. Here we have an RPM meter and the big navigation system in the car. But besides that, it's still it's the same car, just with different colors. But this is different, and so I would like to jump in. Look, that's kind of neat. The door is opening at a 90 degree angle, and oh, I don't like that. We don't have real windows here that we can roll down. It's just, um, well, you can't roll them down. Entering the car is pretty easy, slamming the door is too. Well, let me say, spacious, not. I'm um, 180 centimeters tall, so 5'11", and I have to say, my space here is really limited. The driver's seat is put in a position so I can drive easily and sit comfortable, and um, me on the back row, 
my the space for my, my legs is very limited and even the head space is pretty limited. If I would be a little bit taller sitting, I would bump against the ceiling. Well, at least they say it's just a four-seater, so we just have four seats and they don't try to fit uh, another person in between. Instead, we have a little uh, storage compartment and a cup holder. There is a little compartment in the door panel. Well, actually two. We have this, um, well, this net thing at the back of the seats, of the front seats. And here's a little thing. I'm still not sure. I think it's if you have an iPad, you get a holder for the iPad and you can use it as a rear infotainment system, but I'm not sure. Um, besides that, I have a little uh, sunroof here that I can close and open, but not open the whole thing. And, um, well, I can look outside all right, but to be honest, that's nothing I would call comfortable. Not even the seats are comfortable. Still, if you have, uh, if you're just driving like 90% with just one or two persons and every once in a while you want to give someone else a ride, this is just nice and okay. Well, if you're just, uh, if you're just two persons um, and you don't need the seats, let me see, you can probably flip it somehow. No, right here, okay, and then you can uh, get more space for your trunk, but you can see it's not a plain surface, but if you flip this seat as well, you have like uh, 240 centimeters, 202? You have 220 centimeters of length, so you can, you know, put some billy uh, <laughs> billy regal. So you can put stuff up to a length of 220 centimeters inside this little car. Okay, that's it from the back, I think. Cut. I've mentioned it before, <coughs> the interior in the front from the Smart 4.4 is pretty much like the one from the Smart 4.2. Except in this car at least we have an RPM meter and the big infotainment system screen. Well, it's bigger than the one in the other car. So now it is time to uh, take this baby for a little ride and try it out, I guess. But we're not allowed to. Um, Smart was nice enough to um, Give us the two cars so we can give you this little presentation, but we are not allowed to drive them yet. It will be, I think, another month or maybe two, and then check back in and you get our full in-depth review about the car, including our driving experience. So if you are a smart fan and you get all excited about the new model, you're probably wondering how much does it cost? Well, I can tell you for your certain market, I just know smart is rolling out the 4.2 at least worldwide starting in Europe. And the pricing is pretty much like the old model. So around 11,000 euros for the basis model. While the Smart 4 Tour won't probably make it over the oceans, but will be available in Europe, and it's only 600 euros more expensive than the Smart 4 Tour. So for two extra doors and two extra seats, you just pay 600 euros more. I hope you still enjoyed this little presentation. And um, I'm ready to say goodbye. I hope you like the show. Please give me a like to motivate me. Um, if you haven't done so, please subscribe our channel. And just one more thing. Smart with the Smart 4.2 has set a benchmark. If you want to turn the car around, you only need 6.95 meters. So you can turn the car most likely on every street with ease. That's cool. And I'm looking forward to check this out in our driving review whenever it's time. Till then, goodbye, have fun, see you later.